While there were occasional references to the Church Universal in post-Reformation literature, it was not until the middle of the last century that this extensive and important body of teaching was wrought into a doctrinal declaration. It was given to J. N. Darby of England to achieve this distinctive ministry. From the teachings of Darby and his associates, what is known as the Brethren Movement sprang. And these highly trained men have produced an expository literature covering the entire sacred text, which is not only orthodox and free from misconceptions and disproportionate emphasis, but essays to interpret faithfully the entire field of biblical doctrine. That which theology confined to the Reformation has failed to do. At the same time, other men in America and foreign countries were awakening to the fact that the Bible presents a much larger range of doctrine than that released by the Reformers. And, as a result, a widespread Bible exposition movement developed which incorporated all that the Reformation restored and very much more. There is, then, a division in the ranks of Orthodox men. On the one hand, there are those who, being trained to recognize no more than that which entered into Reformation theology, are restricted in their doctrinal viewpoint and who look upon added truth as a departure from standard ideas and therefore dangerous. On the other hand, there are those who, though as jealous to preserve the purity of the divine revelation, are constructing an unabridged system of theology and finding the way into full-orbed harmony of truth and into the limitless field of biblical doctrine.